Hello, we're going to take a look at Usborne's newest Lift the Flap first questions and answers. This one is What of Virus? Uh, of course, came out for the whole COVID-19 thing, so it's uh, perfectly timed to help children understand what a virus is, how it's transferred, and about COVID-19. Of course, um, Hunter is here helping me show the books. Yes, you are so helpful. All right, throw the ball one time. There you go. Okay. Now, what is a virus? So, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus, and for some reason it's not. Okay, there we go. So, questions like, why does this virus have spikes? Uh, can I see a virus? Only with a very powerful m microscope. Are all viruses bad? Uh, where do viruses come from? How do viruses get into the air? How do they get inside us? How do they make us sick? Can I catch a virus more than once? Lots of people have been asking that. Uh, this whole page is about washing hands, which is um, one of the best ways to fight against viruses is by washing them off your hands. So how do they get on our hands? And uh, side note, fun activity you can do with children is to um, put a little bit of glitter on their hands in the morning and then have them go through the day and see what they get glitter on. Of course, then your house is all glitterified, but, you know, with kids it already is anyway, right? When should I wash my hands? Is hand sanitizer better than soap? The answer is no, in case you are wondering. Um, another side note, hand sanitizer is antibacterial, which means it kills some bacteria. It does not kill viruses. All right, what's a vaccine? A whole page about what vaccines are, how they work, and where they come from. So, like, how well do they work? Some work better than others. How long do they last? Well, it depends on the virus. And then the, um, a page about different kinds of viruses. And, of course, COVID-19 is on there because it's big news right now. Um, there's also the common cold, measles, chicken pox, Ebola, that's a nasty one, polio, hepatitis, yellow fever, AIDS, the flu, measles, and then of course the last one is how can we fight viruses, and tells you how you can take care of yourself to stay well, and washing your hands, getting vaccinations, and then the big question, and I was really um, pleased with how they handled this one, should I wear a mask? Sometimes it's a very good idea. To stop a virus from spreading through the air, it's best to keep your distance, but that's not always possible. Masks can't block out viruses completely, but wearing one means you're less likely to pass on a virus to someone close by. I was very impressed that they used facts only. And there goes Hunter into his spin. Thank you, Hunter, for showing the book. Hunter, come say goodbye to the people. Oh, he's got to get his ball first. Yeah, there's my daughter. She's helping show books, too. Actually, she was keeping Hunter quiet. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye.